Preppers talk a lot about this concept of SHTF. When the stuff starts hitting the fan and it's going to get splattered all over the place and impossible to clean up. We talk about when energy grids come crashing down and everyone for themselves. Folks, if this isn't SHTF for Europe, I don't know what is. Let's look at what the power grid looks like in the UK. Ice Age Farmer said it uh, on his telegram, something to the tune of, that is not a rise, that is a brick wall. That is how much power costs in the UK right now for this winter. It's approaching a thousand pounds per megawatt hour. As you can see, it, it's been historically more in the, in the 40, 50 pound range per megawatt hour. But now it's closing in on 1,000. And that is not unusual for Europe. That is what Europe is looking at across the board. And primarily, that has to do with two very basic things, coal and natural gas. Here's a graph here where you can see in yellow the United States price on natural gas. But then you look up here and you see in red the European Union's natural gas price. Well over double. It's well over three. It's th three times more, actually. See this guy right here? The guy next to, you know, Castro? Germany's Chancellor Schultz, and then last week, begging Canada to send them more natural gas because they can't keep the lights on. They know that this winter is going to get really bad. How do I know that's going to get really bad? Well, let's take a look at this. Here's the prices for Germany and France. French is in red. It is uh, right at um, uh, 15.50 euros per megawatt hour. And Germany is, is closing in on 1,200 uh, euro for megawatt hour. That's kind of expensive. How can businesses function with that? They can't. Now, this is wholesale prices. This hasn't all been passed on to the consumers yet, but this is how much the power suppliers are having to pay to keep the lights on. That is catastrophic, folks. That is SHTF. When you can't keep the power on, that's what the graph looks like. Here's Google searches for firewood in Germany. And you'll notice that that goes back 18 years. Uh, uh, yeah, 18 years. That's what the graph is. 18 years of searches. And that spike at the end, yep, that's right now. And that's probably understating how much people are looking for firewood right now in Germany because they realize they're not going to be able to keep their lights on. There's pictures over in Poland of people lining up for days. Like, waiting in line all day, and then at the end of the day, leaving their vehicle there, in line, and going home, because they're waiting for coal. Yeah. Multiple days at mines trying to get coal to heat their own homes. 2018, four years ago. President Donald Trump uh, went to the UN and he had some pretty direct words to Germany about the dangers of being reliant upon a single country for their energy, for so much of their energy. And this is the, the current German uh, foreign minister laughing at him, laughing at him. This is the Chancellor of Germany begging other countries to send him more natural gas so his people don't freeze this winter. And this is his foreign minister four years ago being warned to his face and laughing at him. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain arrogance about that, isn't there? When 
you be warned about things. A lot of you experience this already. You try to warn other people and you get them laughing at you. Nobody in Germany is laughing right now. Nobody in Poland is laughing right now as people are starting to panic. Nobody's laughing in France. Nobody's laughing in the UK. Everyone there was warned. That's the truth. And I know some of you are in the UK and some of you are in these other countries and, and you, you and your party is not in control of this and you've tried. You've tried what you can do. And sometimes you're just overwhelmed by the zombies around you. <laughs> and you do what you can. I wish you the best, all of you who are watching this in Europe. But, you know, the crazy thing is still some people over in Europe don't see this as SHTF that it is. When all the businesses start having to shut down because, and we're already seeing that with the fertilizer plants, with some of the heavy industry, the smelters uh, for aluminum, zinc, um, metal smelting in Europe has dropped off a cliff and other heavy industry is quickly following behind because there is nobody out there who can pay these electricity prices and stay in business. 70% of the pubs surveyed in the UK do not believe they're going to make it through this winter simply due to the energy costs of keeping their pubs open. 70% of the pubs are going to close. If you didn't hear anything I said before this about SHTF, now you're probably listening, right? The catastrophe in Europe is now at a point where it seems like it's unavoidable. There really isn't a way out except through it. Are the lessons going to be learned and rapidly fixed and implemented? And the answer is probably not, because most of the people in control of the governments over in Europe are still absolutely dead set on going through this transition to this new utopia on the other side of the world where there'll be a whole lot less people. How are they going to get rid of all the people? This is how. This is how. Who can actually afford those energy prices? Well, the people that who will survive what's coming will be able to afford those energy prices. And the people who won't survive, they're the ones who can't. You kind of need your energy in the winter. You need to line up in Poland and get your coal, no matter how many days it takes. Or you need to find a way to get self-sufficient real fast. Because the dark winter, the long dark winter, is about to begin in Europe. And speaking as someone over in the United States, I sure hope we don't follow you into it. But it looks like the powers that be that run the Western world are dead set on dragging every single one of our countries through that long dark winter. It is all planned, and they've laid it out for us. It's on the websites. Go look at the Weffers. Go look at the UN things. Go look at the, the farm to fork. Go look at... It's all right there. They despise you and me. They despise us. And they have awful, awful plans for us. And we're seeing those unfolding in Europe right now. God bless you guys. I wish you all the best. If you're in Europe, do what you can. Do what you can. Get as self-sufficient as you can. Get as much energy. Get as much heating capacity as you can for your family. And and hang in there. Alright, uh, if you like this video, or if you were informed by this video, you want to check out another one of mine over here. Otherwise, I will see you later. Steve Poplar out.